We can see here on Trimble Access that IMU tilt compensation is enabled and is functioning. On Trimble Access, there are three things that show us this. In the top right hand corner, we can see the RTK and IMU is enabled. Just along to the left of that, there's a distinctive icon showing the tilt compensation icon. It's a receiver showing the motion. The third thing that we can look out for is on the map. Our position is shown with an arrow. This is showing our heading. This also indicates that we are in IMU tilt compensation mode. Most surveyors are going to use tilt compensation mode for the majority of surveying that they do. 90, 95% if not more. It really is reliable, faster, more efficient and it's the new way that surveying is going to be done. Should you choose to turn the IMU tilt compensation off, the process is quite simple. Within Trimble Access you go to the icon at the top of the status bar tap that and that will open the GNSS functions. To turn the IMU tilt compensation off, simply tap that button. We can see that the screen has changed. The icon at the top is now a single receiver. This indicates that it's in GNSS mode only. We can see that it takes a few seconds to reinitialize, but as soon as the initialization has been gained, you'll see the green check mark to show that you are good to go. For most situations, the surveyor is going to be in the IMU tilt compensation mode. So there's very little chance that you're going to need to use this and it's certainly not going to be a frequent task that you undertake. The process to turn IMU tilt compensation back on is very similar to what we just undertook. We go to the icon at the top of the status bar and open the GNSS functions. We go to IMU tilt compensation and that will turn it on. What we see is that we need to get alignment. We also see a change of the icon indicating that we are in IMU tilt compensation mode. The important thing here is the alignment and that's what we need to gain before we can continue on with our survey and get the green check marks that we're after. There are a couple of ways to do this. You can stay stationary and simply move the receiver around. This should be enough to get the alignment that we need for the IMU. The other method is simply to walk around. Again, this is providing movement and motion for the IMU. If you're out in the field surveying, by the time you've walked to the next point, this should be in alignment and the system should be ready to take observations. The R12i is available today. Contact your local Trimble distributor if you want a demo or if you're ready to buy.